hallelujah praise the name of the lord family i am so glad to be with you all in the mighty name of jesus the prophet word says don't give up on your relationship with jesus i take it again do not give up on your relationship with jesus how to keep it going if you see me for your very first time this is prophet word with adele i just want to appreciate my returning subscribers are coming back and if you're new you're welcome to the family god bless you abundantly i just want to thank each and every one of you in this family that god will keep it god will keep doing that miracle things that you always you want you you deserve in your life in the mighty name of jesus my returning subscribers and those that are new i thank you guys so much for always being part of this family father in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i thank you for the life of your children O king of king lord of lord i pray for them O king of clean under grace that may you continue to show their confirmation and clarity for whatever thing that they are seeking you for O king of king lord of lord may you do it in their life in the mighty name of jesus thank you holy spirit for there is no like you in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah glory be to god i pray that let this video should not pass you by that god will keep you increase you and let this continent to shine upon you do not give up your relationship with jesus You know, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto you. When you seek God first, every other thing shall be added unto you. And God is saying that do not give up on him no matter what is going on. Someone asked me a question that I am tired of what I'm going on. I am tired. I am tired for this thing. I've been praying. Nothing is happening. I'll give up. No. You shouldn't give up. When you give up, you make the devil laugh at you more and more. So do not give up on God. Do not give up on Jesus. How to keep going? How to keep going? Keep praying until he blesses you. Keep, bl keep praying until you get that thing that you want him to do for you. To keep it going, try to connect yourself with him. Create time to study your Bible. Create time to pray to him. Create time to talk to him. That is how to keep it going. And be calm for whatever thing that you want God to do for you. Be patient with him. He will do it for you. You think that he does not know that you need this thing, you need this thing, you want to be with this person, you want this one, you want to move out, you want to travel, you want... He knows all of those things. But just give him time, okay? Give him time. It would manifest in the name of jesus just give him time you will see it manifest in your life in the mighty name of jesus don't give up on him some people say i'm tired of pray praying i am so tired of praying i have been praying for so long now but nothing seems to happen nothing is happening what kind of thing is this i am tired one year two years i have been praying for a particular thing guys when you are praying to god learn to connect yourself when you are praying to God, learn to connect yourself. Connect yourself with faith. So that you, you, you facilitate things to happen fast in your life. When you are praying, you are connecting your faith with Jesus. You are going to see changes in your life in the name of Jesus. Our God never fails. He always answers prayers. He answers us at the right time. All you need to do when you pray, have patience, wait for his time. Don't rush him. He doesn't like when you are rushing him. Just be patient, be praying and be patient. You will see it come to pass. You will see it manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Don't ever let anyone tell you that God does not answer prayers. Don't give that room to, for the devil to make you to understand that God does not answer prayers. God answer prayers. God answer prayers. He is ready to do what no man can do in your life. Because he is our God. He will do it for you. And because all the glory will go back to him. I am here to encourage you that you should not give up on your relationship with Jesus. Create If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, try to create a relationship with Jesus. Create a relationship with him. You will see it go well in your life. You will not regret having a relationship with Jesus. It's the best thing that will happen to you. If you create a relationship with Jesus, you will see it going well, so good, so perfectly. It will manifest in your life.
thank you father for this wonderful message i believe and then i have faith that your children will receive it with gladness in the name of Jesus, your children will receive it with gladness and it will come to manifest in their life. They will see your love in this message. They will see your confirmation and clarity in this message. Guys, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, create one. And if you already have your relationship with Jesus, maintain it. Maintain your relationship with Jesus. That will be the sweetest thing in your life. You will see how your life will be going smoothly. You will see how things will be going well for you. Even when someone hurts you, you will not feel as you have been hurt because your relationship, you have a relationship with God. You always have good advice. God will always guide you. God will always send to those ones that will protect you. God will remove the wrong people in your life and replace good people in your life. When you build your relationship with Jesus, it's the best thing that you, it will ever happen to you. I pray for you on that grace, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your children have their way in your life. Let their relationship with you stand still. Let it stand firm in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that don't have relationship with you, Lord, help them to build a relationship with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Put him first in everything you do. Put Jesus first in Jesus' mighty name. Now may the good Lord keep you, cause his face to shine on you. May he give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I love you so much and God loves you more. Stay blessed.